AX24 video two. Um, my first outing with the AX24 was pretty disappointing. Wasn't very happy with it at all. Um, what it did do was give me lots of ideas to start with um, over ideas for modding this thing. A couple things I'm gonna do um, is I have to battle the torque twist. It has crazy bad torque twist going up uh, steep stuff. I, I was looking for household items I could use to do preload. I tried shrink wrap, um, nothing really worked out. So um, what I ended up doing was uh, going to the internet um, and since I 3D print, I was able to uh, find something. So we're gonna print out those. All right, so uh, printing those uh, SCX24 shock spacers, they fit perfectly on the AX24. I uh, grabbed them off a of Thingiverse. The designer was Lulu27, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these on the AX24. Um, I tried a few different combinations. I ended up being three mil all the way around, except for the back right shock, um, where I did a three and a four mil, doing seven mil total to combat torque twist. I think just doing that will be huge. Um, the other thing here, my low dollar mod, is uh, just putting that on top of the servo. It's still a lot higher than I would like that weight to be. Much better put down on the wheels, but as far as low cost mods, um, we're gonna see how well this works. So. We're gonna take this out and drive it and uh, then we'll talk about it after. So these came in today. These are the brass um, knuckles. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and pull the wheels off and install these and then we're going to test drive it and see uh, just see how much better the thing's gotten. So the modding continues on the AX24. So we did the knuckle weights um, and that made a difference. It didn't make enough of a difference. Um, still, even though it's more front end biased now, it's still top heavy. Um, for now, we're gonna do a couple more mods. I got the skid plate, as I mentioned earlier in the videos. I got knuckle weights. Um, these bolt on to these brass um, knuckles. <clears throat> and then hopefully the last thing I need is I bought this trail um, overdrive setup. So this should get the front axle spinning faster. So I think that's going to make a huge difference in it. So we're going to do these mods and then uh, we'll hit the crawl thing again and see how things are going to go. Anyway, I wanted to do all this this weekend. I had the worst weekend. I had a water line break um, on Saturday, cost me 800 bucks. Sunday, uh, a grass fire, wildfire took off. I had the fire department out here. <laughs> I was exhausted from trying to put that out. So um, testing just didn't happen uh, this weekend, but it's Monday night, everything's good. And uh, got my upgrades on and uh, let's see if it makes a difference. Barely a lift, right up it. Man, I really struggled with this. Let's see if the way it takes any difference. Little lift. 
It's actually spinning instead of flipping backwards. I would say that's an improvement. <laughs> All right, well, pretty happy uh, with the thing, the way things are going with the AX24. Um, those three mods, the skid, the uh, knuckles, and the knuckle weight uh, made a huge difference uh, in its vertical climbing ability. I'm sure it'll side hill a lot better too with that way down low. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, catch you on the next one. Watch out for volume three when we do, uh, do overdrive. All right, catch you later.